Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about something very crazy and it could indicate a lot in the future. So Scion of the Wild, while not a impressive reprint, is very important. It first came out in Ravnica, original Ravnica, then it was reprinted in 10th edition or X edition. And recently it's going to be reprinted in Modern Masters as a common. So it didn't go from a rare to a uncommon. It's never been printed as a uncommon before. It went straight to a common. What does that mean? A lot of these cards, uh, Eye of Ugin, there's other cards have been downgraded. Indomitable Angel, uh, they have been downgraded. And essentially, this is Wizards of the Coast saying, here's a way for us to make a Tomogoyf. Vindilling Click. Should we choose, we can make them uncommons, commons, or rares from Mythic. This will not be the first time, and Scion is only the card with the most, uh, that fell the most, but a ton of these other cards in Modern Masters 2015 have gone from Mythic to rare, or even rare to uncommon. And it's not unheard of, obviously, for a uncommon to become a common. So this downshift in rarity means a ton. It's tremendously important. If you understand what could happen in the future, you could have reprints at lower rarities, even if they are mythic, even if they are rare. And that's incredibly uh incredibly important uh for the game because that means there's more cards for everybody um if it's cards on common there's going to be more copies than if it's a rare if it's a common there's going to be a tremendous amount of copies this has a large large um it, this may have a large impact in how magic the gathering is played in the future this is a card that was reprinted in another set as a rare and then in Modern Masters, it's a common. This has huge implications to what could possibly happen to Modern.